Welcome to April Favorites. It's May already and April was filled with all sorts of rain and some great travel and all sorts of really cool things. So I have some items here that were from my trip that worked perfectly that I have to tell you about. And I have some other things also. So here we go. Let's just start right in. Everyone has been wanting to know how my away luggage worked for me on my trip. I did a video, I'll try to you know link this down below, the video that I did on this piece of luggage. I wanted a new carry-on, I found this company, um, liked the idea of the whole thing, chose the color white, because I really thought it was gorgeous and I wanted to test it out to see how it would actually work on a trip all the way to Tahiti. So, <laughs> funny thing is, um, it looks just about perfect. I mean, seriously, my husband was shoving it in the overhead compartments, throwing it in the back of the rental van thing. I mean, I'm just like, um, excuse me, this is my new luggage. I don't want it to be, you know, ruined. And he's like, isn't that the point? You're wanting to see if this works the way it normally works. I'm not going to baby it. I'm going to treat it like all the other pieces. I'm like, yes, you're right. You're right. So I'm like, okay. I relaxed a little bit and he just, I mean, he wasn't ridiculous, but you know what I mean? Scrape as it's going in the in the overhead and you know, just that kind of thing. Cause you do that with your luggage, you just shove it in. It's just a normal thing. So anyway, I cringed, but he's right. I wanted to see how it would stand up to everything. I love it. It's beautiful. It's still pristine. This thing was going over dirt roads. Um, it, the wheels were so smooth. It went you know, just everywhere perfectly. I could walk around carrying it just like just walking with me, you know, like this with one hand. I didn't have to like I'm pushing like crazy. Um, it fit so much stuff. I have a video on that also that I will try to show you. And it was absolutely perfect in both of the airplanes that we took. We took a trip. We took one airplane that was a bit smaller to um, San Francisco. So the San Francisco flight from Chicago was a little bit smaller in the overhead compartment and I was kind of concerned, but it did work. It fit perfectly. And then the trip from um, San Francisco over to Papaete Tahiti, perfect, fit perfectly. There was just no problem whatsoever. Um, so yeah, it's the bigger carry-on. The smaller carry-on works for many other, like other international, not American airlines. I know my we went United. We flew United Airlines, which we almost always do. Even when we go overseas into Europe, we usually fly United. So I know it will fit, it, generally speaking, in most of the planes that I will be taking. Um, but I'm seriously thinking about getting the smaller one for those times that maybe I'm not, or if I'm taking a smaller trip to, let's say, South Dakota, where I know that there's some just little smaller planes and so forth. So anyway, I love it very, very much. It's absolutely wonderful. I love the, um, I did use and I adore the, uh, the little pop-up, this little pop-up charger that can be removed. Love it. Worked out beautifully. Charged my iPod, my iPad. I charged my phone. I absolutely adore it. Sorry, this is very unwieldy in my lap at the moment, but you get the idea. Everything is just so smooth. I am in love and I love the white. I'm thrilled that it just still looks like the day I bought it. Didn't do anything to it. Didn't wipe it, didn't clean it. It's still covered in Tahiti dust. So anyway, very happy about that. My first love of April, please just punch. Happy, happy, happy. So yeah, there's that. Um, if you have any other questions on the luggage, how it performed in different other ways, let me know. But I will link those two videos down below of how I packed it and yeah, all that could fit in it and so forth and my opening of it to tell you more about all the details of the locking situation and so forth, so yeah. Okay, so since we were in Tahiti, obviously we were in the water, you know, at least 60, 75% of the time we were constantly in the water, which was wonderful. We had an over the water bungalow that you could just walk right out, walk right down into the lagoon, perfect. So I love to snorkel, but I have trouble. I, the last few times I've tried to snorkel, um, we were in Hawaii in September and I thought I was going to die. Um, one of the last times we were snorkeling with the family, I, I starts coming in my eye mask thing and it's, I feel like I'm tasting the salt water and I just start freaking out. I don't know. And I just can't do it. I'm not comfortable. It's not a happy time. And I miss snorkeling. I really do. So for this trip, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really wish I could snorkel. Plus it's kind of gross to, you know, if you don't bring your own snorkel, it's kind of gross to put that mouthpiece in. I know they clean them, but you know what I mean? Every other tourist has ever put in their mouth. And I saw so many people struggling with those rental -y ones, you know, where they, they give you at the resort. So anyway, I got this one. 
And I thought, I'm gonna give it a try. And my dear sweet husband put it in his bag because it did not fit in mine. So he just worked around it and stuffed things in. But it comes in this carry case, which is wonderful. I love this little carrying case thing. Perfect, you just open it right up and it's a full face snorkel. And first you have to kind of figure out which size you are. You'll see on the website, it'll tell you. I'll link all this below so you know where to find it and what the choices are and colors and stuff. Um, but you have to figure out what size you are. And I got a size small, adult small. So here it is, it's a full face. You look like Darth Vader. Um, <laughs> so you, you can't worry about what you're looking like, but who looks good in a snorkel anyway, right? So you have these two pieces and this just snaps right on like that, okay? It's got this one-way valve, things aren't going in. It's got this automatic drain here, so water can't go in this, but if you do get any in, it drains right back out as you put your, your um, head up, but I never had any trouble with any water coming through. If you just stick your head through there. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea, right? And so here you are. And it, it's got this, you can see in here this you know rubbery stuff that, that just seals all the way around your face so there's no there's nothing that's going in your mouth okay it's just sealing your face and around your, the top of your nose the view in this thing with this you know the clear on each side you can see so much more and the fish there beautiful so many so beautiful so it's like you have this picture window Whereas before you just sort of had a small little window over your sink in the kitchen, you know what I mean? This is like a picture window from your family room into the bottom of the ocean. I mean, it was absolutely life-changing in a snorkel kind of life-changing way. And of course my family wanted to try it. And that's, you know, I mean, they're family, whatever, but it's even better that there's no mouthpiece. So you can just kind of trade it back and forth between each other and it's not nearly as you know, weird. So um, everyone tried it, everyone loved it. So we all took turns with this snorkel <laughs> and it was great. And then one day I was sitting on the beach, there was this whole group of people that looked like they were a group of maybe six friends that traveled there together. And they were using one person's snorkel like this and they were going on and on and on about how it was absolutely life-changing. So if you're planning to snorkel and you struggle at all with the, the weird ones, really consider this, this thing is amazing and I will take it every chance I get to every place I go that requires or could be a snorkel place. Also, snorkeling off of your room or on the beach or wherever you're snorkeling, we went to the Lagoonarium, um, you just wanna be comfortable. I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you just wanna look like the most glamorous person in the world, but I don't. So when I'm snorkeling, I want to be protected from the sun because yeah, I don't, I do anything, I, I freckle and I burn. So I basically want to protect myself from the sun like crazy. So I almost always wear like a rash guard thing. Okay, which a rash guard, if you don't know, is basically swimsuit material of a top, like this kind of a thing. And I like mine to not be, you can get them kind of form fitting and really, really tight. Try to get that off when it's wet and back on again. I tend to wear mine like this, you know, where it's just more like a top and it doesn't flop around too much. It's perfect. So I got this one from Land's End and it's in the wash right now. So I'm not going to show it to you here, but I'll show you this picture of it. I loved it. It had kind of a boat neck and like a three quarter sleeve. So it was just kind of more fashiony. It was cute. You can also get them just like crew neck and you know, all the way to the, to the wrist. But I loved this one. I wore it all the time. It was just a fun bright color, but yet it went with pretty much any other bottom or whatever. Loved it, enjoyed it so much, beautiful. And I also found a pair of swim shorts that were, I found several actually um, of different brands, but these were my favorite on the trip. Loved them, they were just perfect, comfortable, you know, they, they have the inside part that's like a bathing suit bottom, regular, you know, a regular bathing suit bottom. But they're shorts. I felt covered. I'm going up the ladder. I'm, my rear end's in the air, you know, when I'm snorkeling. I don't have to worry that everything's are sticking out and I'm looking awful, you know. I'm not really worried about that anyway because I have this giant snorkel on my, on my face and I'm not winning any beauty contests with that. But the point of the matter is I was comfortable. I was covered. Everything fit beautifully. It just, it was, it was comfortable. I could totally enjoy myself. And the other item that was part of this ensemble for the water were these water shoes. Now I bought these, they still have Tahiti sand in them. I bought these you know, without ever having tried them. I got them online. I thought, okay, I'm gonna take these with me. I like that they kind of looked like my regular tennis shoes, you know, my little, my normal um, sports shoes. 
Um, they have these with drain holes, easy slip on. Um, I just thought they were a little more attractive than those your normal water shoe looking shoes that kind of look like short socks or something. I don't know. Not that again that I'm trying to win any beauty contests, but I just liked the look of these. They were like 20 bucks. Love the idea that I'll give these a try. Love them. My daughter wore them. I wore them because there's coral and stuff and you don't, you know, you don't really want to be stepping on anything. You can cut your feet to pieces. You don't want to step on the coral anyway. It hurts the coral. But, you know, if you do happen to brush up against it or you're walking on rocks, you really would like to be protected. And this worked out perfectly. They come in many different colors. I cannot recommend these anymore. They were so simple that, I mean, literally the water just drains right out of these holes. Um, and then you can hike around a little bit. You can hike through... Um, like you're walking around and hiking and then you can walk right through a stream or a creek or whatever, you know, that you encounter a waterfall. Love them. I absolutely love these. I cannot rec uh, recommend these more. And my daughter's getting a pair. She's like, I love those, mom. Those are the best. I'm like, I know. So yeah, highly recommend those. One of the days we were going to the Lagoonarium. Now I knew that this, I sort of knew that this place was kind of on an island. I assumed we'd get on a boat on shore and whatever. Well, we had to walk in like hip deep water to get to the boat to climb literally like just flump ourselves into the boat <laughs> and go to the lagoonarium so i didn't really know that i'd be walking in the ocean a ways out to flump into a boat but i was wearing these th that day my olakai's my olakai sandals love them they're the silver leather i'm like oh boy you know i i wanted to take them off and think you know i'll just go barefoot but then i didn't want to you know wreck my feet and i'm like it's not worth it whatever i just you know rats i'm gonna ruin my shoes not at all these things they were underwater i was walking around in the ocean underwater i mean i love them they're absolutely perfect they're still you know this leather's still perfect and wonderful and supple and great and there's nothing wrong with them it was i'm i'm personally amazed so happy with them so i love them before i love them even more now and highly recommend those and again for any of you that are sick to death of seeing these i apologize i'll be quick about it but yeah my valentino they're like the pvc they're the plasticky stuff with the little sparkly deals you know with the um you know the studs oh my gosh the rock studs so these shoes cannot tell you how great these are for any vacation they pack you know, I mean, you don't have to be, you don't have to baby them. They pack so flat, you know, seriously, they last. They're, they're not, you don't have to baby them. Let me tell you that right now, because I was unable to really baby them too much. Um, walking around on sand, rinse them off with water. Uh, you can add an, uh, like a jeer, a jeer. You can add like a clear gel, like insert thing that I have. I've listed those before to make it like have a little arch support and make it even more comfortable if you need that. Um, I was wearing them without the arch support on the trip, loving them. So they're cute. They dress up like a skirt and a little, you know, tank or something. And you're still wearing flats so you can go to dinner and feel comfortable in them. I don't know. They were perfect. They were absolutely perfect. And again, love them. Speaking of skirts, I love a good skirt, you know, a skirt with the shorts attached underneath, but it's a skirt all the way around. I love a good skirt. Um, and they're not the easiest to find in a, in a length that works that just, it looks like a skirt, like you're wearing a skirt with any other top or whatever. Uh, you don't want to scream golf skirt or whatever necessarily, but I found these two and I got an extra one of this one. The one that I took to, to Tahiti is in the wash, but that's why the tag is still on this one. This skirt, it's white. And if you like white skirts, and I like white on the bottom a lot in the summer and spring, it is a good, good fabric in that you're not worried about anything showing through. And it does have the, you know, the little, the short, short bits underneath that are just flowy. They're not, you know, super tight to the leg, but you are covered. You have no, you know, thigh chafing if that's an issue for you. This just pulls right on. It's got like this little um, seaming here that looks kind of like a, a pocket, but is not. Um, cannot say enough about this. I also have it in um, like a khaki tan color, a navy kind of a dark denim, um, and black. Love them so much, I got them in every color. So yes, love those. And then this, I wanted one a little longer. Those I think are around 
somewhere between 18 and 20 inches. I don't know for sure, but they hit me, you know, like a shorter, you know, above the knee, a few inches, whatever. Well, I wanted a black skirt that I could just wear with a lot of things. It was a little bit longer, like just hit me above the knee. And, um, what I found though was this one and I'm five feet, five inches tall. So I'm not at all tall. I'm not really petite, but I'm not tall. So I'm kind of in that no man's land in the middle. Um, and I got this in a tall, which adds a little bit of length and it's perfect. So if you're anywhere near my height and you want something a little bit longer, um, and you can look online again, I'll link everything, um, and see what the, the measurements are. So you know if it'll work for you in tall or regular or petite or whatever. But this skirt is just a beautiful kind of a flowy material that's, um, kind of athletic -y in a way feeling, you know what I mean? But it doesn't look like it. You could dress this up as much as you want. It does have this little zip pocket here. Um, it's got these little uh, like flap pocket bits on the back. It's just a pull on skirt. Um, you've got the a little tiny you know, like a little side slit thing bit there. You've got the attached you know short things underneath. Perfect, absolutely perfect, perfect length. Love this. So for me at five five, got the tall, fit me perfectly like about an inch inch and a half above the knee. Love it. And I got that one in navy also. Okay, my bag for the trip, the one that I took all over the island, you know, it went pretty much everywhere with me except for dinners where I would just use a little clutch. Um, my bag for the island was my Longchamp Le Pliage, but not the tote. I decided to use my smaller one. This is the, let's see if this is smaller than medium. I'm really sorry, I can't tell ya. But it is basically the size of a Speedy 30, kind of a, kind of a size, but in tote form. And I, Love it, and I'm still using it. It's been a couple weeks since I got back, but this has been my everyday bag ever since. I'll tell you right now, I never ever zip it. I did some on the trip, but in general, I leave it open at all times. So this is just kind of how it's always, you know, working for me. I have it in the navy. It comes in many, many colors. Um, I had one person ask me when I showed it before, I had one person ask me, how do you get the wrinkles out? You know, because it folds up to that tiny little bit. Um, to pack it the wrinkles come out like the minute you put things in there I mean it's not even there's no time even for it it just they just do I don't know what it is about this fantastic nylon type fabric but yeah that's how it works so as you can see I can fit a ton of stuff in there um, for the trip I could just fit anything I wanted water bottle um, you know travel book cameras you know anything I could possibly want I did found that I did not need the larger tote size for running around um, this was perfect it just worked well so I really recommend this smaller size for day to day too it works beautifully and I'm loving it the rest of the items I have are beauty and makeup related um, and I will be doing something to my hair so yeah stay tuned for that let's go First of all, if you know me at all, you know I absolutely love lemon. Anything lemon, 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 right? Lime too, I don't know what it is. But I found this fresh sugar, fresh sugar lemon hydrating lip balm by, by the company Fresh, you know what I mean? And it comes in a little, cute little tin. They have, I think, peach also, if I'm not mistaken. This smells like, like a, your favorite lemon cookie or something. It's like, it got a sweet sugary, like a lemon meringue. Just a light, fresh, not real zingy, tangy lemon. Just a real light, sugary. Oh my gosh, and it feels so good. And anything from the Fresh Company, I just have always loved. So I've been enjoying the heck out of this. And want to recommend it because it's very, very moisturizing. Feels so good. Now, if you saw my get ready with me while I was in Tahiti, I used this and fell in love with it on the trip. This was the best, basically the only color I used on my lips almost the entire time. It was just my go-to thing. And it's the Buxom Lip Cream in Hot Toddy. Really, really enjoy it. It's not too pink, it's not too coral, it's not, it's just perfect in so many ways. It definitely has more of a peachy, peachier tone to it, but it's just kind of one of those, your lips, but better, but adds a little bit of color and goes on beautifully feels good has a slight plumping effect I just absolutely love it um, I just absolutely love it so this has been a favorite and I will be repurchasing this for sure I generally use either uh, Mac lip pencil whirl or um, 
dervish underneath usually and it's perfect absolutely perfect i love it now i did not bring this on the trip with me and i should have i thought i could get away with just tinier bits and pieces but it all added up to basically the same size <clears throat> and i'm loving this i'm using this daily it's what i have on today it is the cali contour by smashbox comes with a beautiful large mirror and these are the colors. They do show the different skin tones and how it works um, when you look at this online. But I find this to be universally beautiful. I've seen this on other people of many different skin tones and I thought, wow, that, that really works, but will it be too dark for me? It's not. So I use this daily as a bit of a contour, just real lightly, kind of how you'd use a bronzer. But you've got this contour, I just try to stick a little bit right here, you know, and I put a little under here just to kind of chisel out the jawline, which I have no jawline, so that helps. <laughs> This is a bronzer that I kind of go around the edges of the face with. I'm really bright because of the lights right now, but in real life, I'm not quite this pale, I don't think. And then these are highlights. And I'll just kind of go all over the cheeks, the tops bits with that a little bit to get some bright highlighty stuff underneath before I put on a blush, which is what I'm wearing today. Just a light natural. It just looks so, so good. And then this, if you wanted to use it as an under eye, you know, powder to just brighten under there or you like brighten under the cheekbone, just kind of give that lighter. If you really want to make more of a chiseled look, you can use that. This is the one I use probably the least, um, but it's just great. And it's all in this little compact little bit and all those things are in here and I'm enjoying it so much. I'm loving it. It's working so well for me. Can't say enough about it and I have an extra one to give to you guys. So this will be the giveaway this month for my April favorites and go down below the video when you're finished, but wait because I'm going to do something weird to my hair. Um, you definitely probably want to see that and um, yeah, you can figure out how to just click on the link and put your name in and do what it says and you may be the winner. Last but not least, I love the Aura Bay Dry Texturizing Spray. I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Not inexpensive, but worth it. I'll tell you that right now. So when I saw this, it's the Aura Bay Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I thought, well, I'm gonna try that. So I got it in the travel size, which was perfect, of course, for travel. And generally speaking, like I said, we were in the water all the time. You get out, your hair just kind of blows around in the wind. <laughs> um, it, it looks like whatever, right? And then all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, we have to be at dinner in 45 minutes. So you throw your body in the shower, you don't have time to do your hair, or even if you do have time to wash your hair, whatever. This stuff, I don't think I touched one of my, my hair styling tool the entire trip. My hair was just used, you know, I just used this on it. Whether it, my hair came straight out of the ocean, I'd use this, or my hair came, you know, straight out of the shower and I had no time to dry it or whatever, I would just spray this in there, scrunch, and, you know, get some air blowing through it just by walking outside or sitting on the, on the you know, deck thing, whatever. But this is how I did my hair. Now, you can use, use it on wet hair or dry hair, and I'm going to show you what it's going to, I left my hair like this on purpose, um, just to be able to show you. There's my straight hair. Take this, it works better with wet hair because you know you can kind of get more movement to it. But you just take it, shake it. Okay, go like this. Just get some in there. And just kind of do one of these. All right, and I'm not putting a ton in, as you can see, just enough to give it a little bit of a A little bit of a bend, a little bit of a beachy wave to it. Okay, there's this side. And then there's this side. And you can do more, you can do less, whatever you wanna do, but that's it. That is absolutely it, you just do that. And it stays. I would hit it with a little bit of hairspray before I'd like head to dinner or whatever, but that's how it would go, seriously. Okay, so let's do this side because I'm lopsided now. Okay, I just... There you go. There's your hair. Beachy waves from perfectly straight dry hair. I mean, honestly. Yeah? I'll take it. And like I say, it stays. So this is how my hair's gonna be the rest of the day. How easy is that? Seriously, how easy is that? 
So those are, I should have done this before the video. I should, that should have been my first thing. It looks so much better now this way. Okay, so those are my April favorites. I had a great April, but I'm really happy it's May. Things are greening up out there. I think we're finished with the snow. Let's hope, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so anyway, happy May everyone, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much, bye.